Linda McMahon giving the upper hand in Connecticut's U.S. Senate race. Polls show that race is in a dead heat right now, but as News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis tells us tonight, Democrat Chris Murphy's campaign continues to stumble. If the U.S. Senate race were a wrestling match, it would probably be fair to say that Republican Linda McMahon has her opponent on the ropes. Over the past two weeks, news reports have shown that Democrat Chris Murphy has been sued for not paying his rent and his mortgage and late in paying his real estate and car taxes multiple times. His campaign has given sometimes conflicting explanations. I would just call on Congressman Murphy to be honest with the people of Connecticut, and I just don't think he has been. The McMahon campaign has alleged that after his financial problems, he got a sweetheart loan from a local bank. Murphy and Webster Bank have denied the charge, and the bank is now demanding a retraction from McMahon's campaign. We don't plan to issue a retraction. McMahon has been hammering Murphy with this TV commercial. Connect the dots. Murphy's campaign has retorted that he paid back all his debts with interest, but that McMahon is yet to pay back all of her creditors from her bankruptcy in the 1970s. She says as an elected official, Murphy should be held to a higher standard than someone in private life. Several times in the past week, the Democratic Party has posted on the Internet what some call soft porn and women degrading video clips from WWE performances when McMahon was CEO. But as fast as they post them, WWE has had them taken down. My interview with McMahon today was delayed while she spoke with her husband. You were just on the phone with your husband. He still runs the company. Is he looking out for your best interest by getting that stuff taken off? Well, you'll have to talk to WWE about what uh, their plans are and how they are using you know, their copyrighted material, but there is not a coordination between my campaign and WWE. The most recent polling in this race shows about a third of the voters say they favor McMahon, about a third say they favor Murphy, and about a third say they are undecided. These two will face off in four televised debate next month. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.